Hello there my fellow Hollow Table Heroes and welcome to another Galactic Challenge video. Hope you had a great week behind you and that you're looking forward to a relaxing weekend ahead. But first, brand new challenge upon us and this time we are taken to Death Star where we do have to face a squad of Empire and use Imperial Troop Rolls to get max rewards. So it, it seems like there's a little bit of internal there fight going on between the troopers and the command there on Death Star. So we'll settle this once and for all in today's Video. So as always I'll cover the modifiers, the feats and then I'll show a few teams here to get these feats done. So the first one will be a full Imperial Trooper uh, squad and then as well three additional squads that can get uh, the Terminator removal feat as well as bring balance feat done in one battle. So let's just now start off with the global modifier the volatile energy so it's a quite a fun one i kind of quite enjoying this one uh, basically what will happen is uh, the volatile energy ability will charge up by five percent anytime any unit takes a turn whether allies or enemies and once it reaches hundred percent it can be used and this ability will instantly defeat uh, the target and cannot be revived if defeated with this ability so you'll definitely want to keep an eye out make sure that the enemy doesn't use it on you now i didn't use it as often probably as you would have liked just because i had to stall the battle long enough to get the term meter removal feed done so overall this modifier this time is not playing that huge part just because of the stall factor but you do have to keep an eye on it so that enemy doesn't use it all right here we go uh, let's move on to the player modifier endless ranks um imperial trooper modifier is quite good but again you know troopers they don't really need to revise when you use them on offense because they usually just steamroll the enemies anyways so it won't really help us all that much imperial addict enemy modifier again it won't take uh, it won't really make all that much difference this modifier even though it's a very good modifier just because all the teams uh that you know i'll showcase there they have a lot of control termit removal so enemy will be hardly taking any turns so this time actually modifiers don't really play a big role uh, in getting the max rewards they're really a non-factor in terms of feats you have to win with a full squad of imperial troopers there again we have bring balance feet so this one is quite often now it seems like it and then hinder movement where you have to remove 400 percent term meter from enemies now especially with this term meter removal would be really good cg if you could please please add feet tracker so that we know when we can stop stalling the battle uh, where we complete the term meter removal but anyway uh, the enemy there chronic lead whatever to be honest nothing really to worry about uh, so with the trooper lineup, you know, just depends what troopers you've got. Uh, the troopers I chose here is to highlight the term, their term meter uh, removal capabilities. Obviously, Gideon with his control the situation removes 100% term meter from all the enemies. Uh, Stark here has got two ways to remove term meter. His AOE can apply stagger, and obviously, once you do hit somebody with a stagger, you will remove all term meter from them. And then he's unique once you do slap a zeta on him also add some term meter removal every time stark uh, takes a turn so stark definitely very good here for term meter removal and magma trooper he's got a term meter removal on his area as well that's why i'm using him uh, also i don't know mod wise you know, nothing too crazy and then stormtrooper here whenever he's taunting he will be removing 10% term meter uh, from each enemy whenever uh, Stormtrooper is damaged. So more term meter removal uh, while Stormtrooper is taunting. So you can see uh, Imperial Troopers a lot, uh, a lot of ways to remove term meter really. So just whatever you've got, probably Gideon himself would be enough. Um, there we go. I'll just go ahead, control the situation, push back term meter, apply some staggers. You do want to go after Death Trooper first, I think, because he can do a lot of damage, and then also whenever you hit Krennic he'll be gaining a bonus term meter let's get the taunt going now so every time now stormtrooper will be hit will be removing term meters there you go it also unique there from stark removing term meter from everybody there you go mass attack over on stormtrooper so he removed a lot of term meters so with the death trooper out he still gotta be careful here obviously because Kranik can uh, revive him um, there you go i use volatile energy just to, to get rid of thrown and I'm going after Kranix, see if we can uh, get him out before he revives uh, his guard. Okay, I'll hopefully get some stagger, no stagger, AoE with magma here, push back some term meter. There we go, control the situation again. 
I mean, in most cases, probably Gideon would be enough for turn meter removal. You'll just have to stall the battle. Like, don't bring in the, like Dark Trooper or Piet because your damage will just ramp up too much. And once you get your turn meter train rolling, uh, you know, enemies won't be able to gain the bonus turn meter. And then, you know, you, if you can't, if they can't gain bonus turn meter, you can't remove turn meter from them, right? That's why I kind of went in with a little bit uh, weaker here uh, lineup uh, with Imperial Troopers, so just so I can stall long enough the battle. Um, that obviously Gideon can keep pushing back Termeter and other guys uh, as well. So you can see there, uh, Kranich did revive uh, Death Trooper, unfortunately. So we'll have to take him out yet again. There we go, another AoE turn removal. Control situation, remove more Termeter. Get Armor Shred over on Death Trooper. Get him out, finally. Uh, let's just do now Mass Attack over on Kranich. I think I've done enough Termeter removal here, so I can just go ahead, finish off the battle. Um, there we go. So you can see we're running circles around these guys, even when using, you know, not the best trooper lineup. But to be honest, you probably don't want to use the best trooper lineup because you, you'll just take these guys out too quickly before you manage to remove 400% turn meter. And there we go. Quite easily completed here the Imperial Trooper feat and also the turn meter removal feat. Now, if uh, you don't, if you can't remove 400% turn meter with your troopers, depending obviously what you've got, uh, I'll show you three more teams that can get turn meter removal done as well as uh, bring balance. So one team here you can use is um, some sort of Ray Jedi training lineup here uh, because with Ray obviously she's got mind tricks so she can remove turn meter that way. Uh, then Free PO can remove turn meter on his basic also. Uh, and as well, uh, because of lead here on Ray Jedi training, whenever we use special abilities with our resistance um, allies, uh, we will be removing 5% turn meter from every enemy that is exposed. So you can quite quickly uh, be removing lots of turn meter. So again here, uh, bringing in Malak for obviously bring the balance uh, feed here. So we can, there we go, we can push back more turn meter here with Thrawn. And as well, you know, he'll put a little bit fear on, on the enemies, a little bit slow them down and things like that. And, you know, he can very quickly take out uh, Death Trooper. So in case of this, obviously, as with all other turn meter removal battles, you have no idea did you remove 400% turn meter or not. You just have to stall as hard as you can. Um, there we go, we can push back more turn meter. Not sure did I get now a 400% turn meter. I think with three mind tricks, like each mind trick removes, you know, anywhere between 40 to 60% turn meter. Then we get some turn remo meter removal from a free PO and then also from exposes as well. So I think, you know, as long as you get like three or four mind tricks out on the enemies that have full turn meter, I think you should be good to go with the turn meter removal as well. As you can see, Malak, no issues whatsoever. Um, one more hit. And I think Short Trooper should be down, and there we go. Completed Bring Balance, and I'm assuming Term Meter Removal feat as well, because no feat tracker. I've already completed the feat with my troopers, so it's anyone's guess did I do it or not. But all these teams that I'll be showing you, you just have to stall hard enough, and you should be able to remove Term Meter. Another option is uh, here uh, Assage Lead, because with Assage Lead, uh, obviously you've got 50% uh, chance to remove Term Meter. And this turn meter removal cannot be resisted. Um, there we go. So we're pushing back turn meter and death trooper. Try to get a stun. Then for bring balance, bringing in nest, her AoE also removes turn meter. So more turn meter removal. And you know, she's quite durable. So she can take a beating similar like Malak from that regard. And there we go. AoE pushing back turn meter. There we go. Counter attacks. Um, as before, probably she would have to take out death trooper first. Uh, and then the rest should be easy because he's really their main damage dealer. Um, we go basic over there, so you can see termiter removal here happening quite a lot. Um, just go ahead, stun Kranich now as well. See if we can get Kranich out uh, before he revives Death Trooper. Just do a mass attack here, lots of termiter removal again. Get stuns out there. I'll stuck behind the taunt. Another AoE, dispel the taunts. I'm just speeding up the footage here because at this point we got things under control. Okay. Just here kind of stalling out the battle more, taking out the summon snow operative um, before I finish off short trooper just to make sure I get enough turn meter removal in. So there you go, another team that can get uh, hinder movement and bring balance uh, done. And finally Vader, same as a Sarge lead. He's got this 50% chance to remove 
turn meter that cannot be resisted, bringing in Gideon for more turn meter removal with control the situation, then Fron can remove turn meter as well on Fracture, uh, and then we've got Mara here, um, she obviously as well can apply a stagger on all enemies, and once you proc that stagger, again, removing turn meter, and finally, uh, for bring balance, uh, just bringing in Hermit Yoda, he's there in hiding, so you know, he he will survive the battle. Uh, initially, as you can see, I've just done a basic solar round, I didn't do force crush, I want to stall out the battle here, and also I didn't want to feed too much turn meter to Death Trooper. Now I'm going to stun him, and uh, here we go, with the Death Trooper stunned, I go ahead and do an AoE. Okay, and we go. We got a stun as well on Krennic, which is nice. Unfortunately, my Vader ability block there. Here we go. AoE, get some staggers out there. So let's go ahead and proc those staggers. Um, think better, go after Tarkin. He's got almost full turn meter. There we go, pushing back turn meter. I'm going to push turn meter back as well on Death Trooper. He's now shocked, so even when I now hit Krennic, he won't be able to gain bonus turn meter. I used volatile energies there to finish off um, Death Trooper. And pretty much there we go. We're good to go. We removed a lot of turn meter between controller situation and then stagger from Mara and then obviously a little bit of extra turn meter removal from Vader's leave whenever, uh, you know, we do get um, um, hit with a, um, whenever we do hit enemies with Empire, it's 50% chance to remove turn meter. There we go. Just kind of stalling the battle, another controller situation, more stagger with Mara, an AoE. And this battle is pretty much now over. I'm just trying to see if I can get some more turn meter removal. Stalling a little bit the battle. And Dango Short Trooper finally as well. So there you go, guys. Very easy challenge today. Um, obviously, after the Evoke one on Monday, we do deserve a little bit easier one, as always. So there you go. Uh, red back to achieving red crate quite easily. So hopefully, guys, uh, you're getting along fine with today's challenge. That one of these teams that I show you will work for you. Let me know in the comments below or on my discord server but until then have fun enjoy your life and may the rng be with you my friends